This beautiful waterfront Shrata landed project in Sembawang District 27 was completed in 2019. On this home tour, we show you around this 3,466 square feet built up five story freehold terrace, which is six beds, six ensuite baths, private lift, roof terrace, white front and rear patio, and it even comes with a basement space that parks two cars for just $4 million. Right, so let's go through a full rundown of the property. So the development was developed by Bukit Sembawang, completed in 2019 in District 27, Sembawang on Wakhasan Drive, just off Sembawang Road. And this is a 80 freehold strata landed unit project. So our owners bought this directly from the developers and carry out a very clean and simple interior design project. So let's recap. It's a 3,466 square feet, three-story plus attic and basement, comes with six rooms, six bathrooms, private lift, helper's room, helper's bath, two powder rooms, two storerooms, front and back patio, attic family room attached with a roof terrace. Okay, so we're coming through the front over here and this is really the front entrance of this project. So all the strata landers are set up this way. You have a walkway in front of you, it's a patch of green. Now we're facing up the front and this is really the grand entrance. You've got a divider to your left and to your right. This is the front patio. If we're looking out over here, this is actually the south facing and in front of you, you will see you have huge landed holes because this is actually a landed enclave. You have a very nice grey scale patio that have been put in for you. So these are non-slip outdoor tiles then you even have water point over here, electrical point. In case you're wondering what this metallic structure is, it's actually the vent into the air well uh, for ventilation downstairs because we have a basement. Now let's go inside. You've got huge, huge panel sliding doors like this that open up and then as soon as you step into living room, you're immediately greeted by all this space because, check it out. Once I close out this huge large panel doors, you basically drown out the sound and this is super soundproof. You've got four meter high ceilings over here. Our owners have put in designer crystal lights and if you notice, the AC vents are all concealed, which is again fantastic. You've got very clean and gleaming marble tiles. These are large slab rectangular tiles just paving the floors which is fantastic. Then this is really the TV area. You have a very beautiful leather couch over here. And we're just right in front of the TV. You've got a coffee table, You've got enough space for a massage chair. You can really just relax here, watch the game on the weekends, have friends and family over. And then this is the lift cylinder that's in the middle right over here. So it's a full on hydraulic lift, very user friendly. You can carry up to 270 kilos, which is average about four humans. I would say adults or so. And this is really the living area. You've got a chandelier just dropping from the top and it's a very nice rectangular space. If it's just gonna flip across, then there is a powder room already set up for the guests. It's full marble on the floors, cladded to the walls. Then you've even got marble vanity. So it's very, very nicely set up. Then there's a divider over here, a pocket door that slides into the wall. Check it out, flush and clean. And we're coming into this kitchen over here and we've got quartz. This is a very dark scale quartz countertop. And again, another grey carpentry going across. Top hung cabinets, you've got melee hood, open gas, three burner stove, you've got an oven over here. And you've even got a counter space for microwave and you've got enough drawer space for all your cutlery, so on and so forth. And there's a designated fridge space right over here, even for this two door which is pretty heavy duty. Then let's open this door over here into this alleyway. This is actually the intersection to the backyard. Let me show you the backyard first. So we're coming out onto this open terrace again. You've got water point, divider, then again, ventilation over here. You've got detailing already put in, horizontal detailing. Then you've got a huge nice granite slab sitting on top of the planter for a little bit of privacy. If you're gonna open this up then you can really just head out to the pool, which is right over there. Going down this way, then you've got more facilities through the whole estate. And if you wanted to, you can just cut across and go to Sembawang Park where you can already see the water body over there. Just right across is Malaysia, which is very, very nice. We'll be able to see that later from above. So now let's go back into the home. 
This leads us into the basement, but we'll see that last. Let's head up into the second floor where the rooms are. So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, kindly smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more videos just like this. And remember to share it with your friends. So let's use the stairs over here. You'll find that the stairs open up and hug the wall over here. And it brings us up this corner over here. You'll find that the flooring is beautifully done up. This is very, very nicely maintained parquet flooring. So these are larger, wider pieces of rectangular parquet tiles. So this is the second floor and we're faced with two rooms. To my rear is a common, right in front of us is the master. We're coming into the master first and this is really a rectangular space with a divider over here because there's a walk-in wardrobe space, the TV is over there. A huge king-size bed has already been put in. You've got a glass crystal light that's just right above you. And if you follow me across the divider over here, you've got wardrobe space and all this is wardrobe, wardrobe, wardrobe for him and her. And you've got sensor lights inside, which is fantastic. You've got a mirror already put in for you. Then you're coming into this exquisite bathroom. Again, very beautifully maintained grey marble cladding the floor, the wall, and you've got black marble countertop into a horizontally profiled shower area. Check it out, you've got alternation of black and grey and black and grey marble which is very, very nice and classy and if you're going to open up this door you'll find that you've got a long bath attached to the rear of the bathroom which is a luxury. Now let's go across into the bedroom. So the bedroom right across is really like mirror image just kind of flip across. The size is more or less the same just less the divider. You've got a comfortable bed space over here. They've put in a ceiling fan with light. Wallpaper is a different kind of uh, theme over here. Then you've got wardrobe space. Check it out, this is a sliding wardrobe. Nicely done, right? It's very, very well maintained. Electrical points over here. Then you've got the bathroom again with an angular standing shower and windows that open up for ventilation to the rear. Okay, now we're going up to level three, but I want to use the lift because this is a very well maintained, convenient lift that brings you all up and down to all levels. I'll see you up there. Yeah, very convenient. So we're up on level 3 right now and we're coming on to this nook over here which they've conveniently converted into a home office. They've got two computer tables kind of set up over here. Then we've got two bedrooms, one to the left, one to the right. Let's go into this one over here first because this one kind of faces the front and you will appreciate that you actually have floor to ceiling glass panels which let in all the natural light. It helps that your neighbours are a white base so there's very nice reflective surface of the sunlight that gives you a lot of natural rays that come through and this glass is tinted. You can't really see it on screen but if you're here with me right now, you're going to see it and you feel the natural breeze that's coming through because it's a natural north-south orientation. Then you've got a L carpentry over here and this is the wardrobe space. Then you're coming into the bathroom. Have a quick look. It's also very nicely maintained and follows the theme throughout which is a very light grey. Check it out. So let's go right across into the other bedroom which is again another carbon copy. Just flip side into this squarish bedroom. Wallpaper has been done up all the way and this is really the northeast facing. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. You can see the sun rays are coming through from the window over over here, you've got carpentry already put into the rear, AC, you've got ceiling fan and then the bathroom is right over here with proper ventilation, check it out. Okay, now let's head up through the stairways over here and you're going to find that the ceiling here kind of bursts upwards and you will see that you've got natural light coming through from the top so they want to make sure that there is no dark stairway which can be a little bit eerie. They also ensured that they specifically engineered the windows to be slidable so that ventilation is very available for you. Then we're coming up onto the attic and this is one of my favourite rooms because it's actually a multi-purpose room. It can be a good sized bedroom because you know there's a door that actually enables you to close up the space for privacy just like this, this pocket door. Then this is really a additional storeroom. You know, can be a study, can be a wardrobe Right, there's a bathroom over here. What it just lacks is a shower. So this is a good size powder room. Close it up. 
if you want to just keep this as an entertainment space over here because you really got the TV set up over here, the TV console, all you really need is a couch and then you got PlayStation and that's it, your Sunday is gone. You also have this extension of a balcony over here and this is actually the roof terrace. It's a little bit sunny out. You're coming straight into the Malaysian Straits over here. So this is really the Malaysian and Singapore border. Sembawang Park is just right over there. If you're looking down from an angle over here, diagonally down this way, you will see the pool, which is very, very lovely. You've got tranquility because it's a blue shade tiled up in mosaic tiles. It's very, very nice. You've got pine trees. And then to the rear, where I'm standing is a water point. So if you wanted to just do like a barbecue over here, you can because, you know, this is really set up for you. Then you've got storage over here. You got a lighting point, you've got water point over here, electrical point, everything you need, you know, for an outdoor setup. And then this is really for, you know, your laundry. So let's head down now. I think you will want to see the last part of this home, the basement. Okay, so we're coming down into the living room and here you'll find that we got two ways to go down to the basement. This lift will take us down or we can go through the manual way. Just follow me. Coming through the kitchen over here. Then the door again to the rear entrance. To the left is a stairway down. So you've got the lights put in over here around this bend. We're going down, you've got timber handle and then stainless steel frame over here with glass. So this is really the rear door over here. I'm going to show you the basement that parks two cars. Check it out. So in front of us, you've got two lots. Then this is where you will come through if you're coming via the lift. So this is the lift landing. You've got enough space to put kind of like a sideboard over here for more storage. And then the flooring is an outdoor kind of wood grayscale lookalike timber tile. This is more storage and DB. Then you'll find that you have a glass door over here that leads you into the yard space. And the yard space is actually very well ventilated. You've got a suction device that kind of pumps the air in and out. So airflow is actually not stale. This is a store. Then there is a helper's bath over here with a shower. This is quartz countertop. And then in case you were wondering, you know, where to do your laundry, this is where the washer and the dryer is. So, you know, uh, it's very convenient. Then, this is actually a full-size bedroom over here in the basement. So right now, it's kind of like a helper's room doubling as an additional storage space because the bomb shelter is attached to the rear. Then this is a full-size bathroom. Have a quick look. So let's talk about your nearby amenities and convenience. Sembawang Shopping Centre, Sun Plaza Mall are all within 8 minutes drive and you are 10 minutes from Sembawang and Canberra MRT. For schools, we are close to Wellington, Sembawang and Canberra Primary, Sembawang Secondary and Yishun Junior College. So you have a bus stop just 184 metres away and it has the bus service 882 that takes you into the city. So if this feels like your next home, then kindly smash that like button and give it a call. I'm Nick Tan, selling Singapore, and I'll be happy to show you the place. I'll see you soon. Which is approximately four middle... Wait. Maybe we are coming up. This walkway over here, and this is really... Yo, you shooting here. That's the right, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>